of those off. But then historical sites, well, I mean, I did get a sense of the history in a way I hadn't before. And I have had cause to reflect on that since. I mean, um, Jean Valdez of Lyon, first of all, in, in the 12th century, um, the whole association with the Qatars and the Albigensians, the, 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 her the, the anti-heresy movements of a, a rather frenetic Roman Catholic Church under Innocent III, uh, I mean, I, I used to teach medieval history, or medieval literature anyway, and I remember the Qatars, and I remember the, um, you know, figuring from that point of view. Then when I read theology, I remember um, it all happening from a theological point of view. But here, to think that the Waldensians, or at least the very first generation of, of uh, the followers of Jean Valdez, reading his Bible, um, and preaching in the open air, uh, taking a vow of poverty, all those kinds of things, and then finding the whole weight of the medieval church coming down on him, uh, I have to think that it was all part of the same rather frenetic and, and neurotic um, Roman Catholic church of the, 20th, oh, of the 12th and 13th centuries, and, and those, um, anti, those persecutions by the Roman Catholic Church at that time were amongst the worst in the whole history of those, um, of those kinds of efforts. So the Waldenses were caught up with something I knew about already, um, but here I was finding that link for myself. And then, of course, um, after that, uh, the Waldensians um, were, were fled and they scattered, and amongst other places, to Lombardy. And, uh, well, Lombardy was um, associated, in my mind, at least the Lollards were, with John Wycliffe and uh, a, a dear friend of mine from this church, John Stacy, a retired minister when I knew him, but had been responsible for local preachers long before that. Um, John Stacy did his uh, thesis in his 70s on John Wycliffe. Um, again, a sort of uh, early 15th century, uh, but once again, um, sort of at odds with the prevailing orthodoxy. I also thought to myself, well, if only Jean Valdez had lived perhaps a generation even later, he'd have found a different pope and would have found the same sort of uh, reception that Francis got of Assisi, who essentially is, is cut out of the same rock. Um, and, and all of those things were sort of cohering in, in, in my head, fragments of stuff I knew, sort of cohering with stuff that was coming my way from direct contact with some of these um, historic places. Uh, and then, of course, I thought of um, the scattering abroad and, and the, the plague and the moving over to Geneva to the schools and all the rest of it. Oh, I didn't say that I had actually got to the college of the Barba. Um, um, I mean, I'm just so delighted that I was fit enough to get up that rather precipitous climb. There are people here half my age who wouldn't have made it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm just uh, here uh, as a redoubtable um, ex you know, sort of example of what you can do if you really want to. <laughs> Mind you, it's what you can do if you don't know what you've got to. I think that's <laughs> what it's all about. Um, and just climbing those uh, vertiginous sort of um, uh, paths and then finding this extraordinary emplacement sort of stuck on the mountains there where the preachers would come and get their uh, their, their, their educational support, um, their intellectual, their refresher course, and I don't know what happened up there. Um, and how on earth they got there in the winter, I, I just can't even begin to guess at. But again, very, very moving. Uh, it just actualizes. Uh, you know about heroism, you've read about persecution, you're aware of, um, of the privations that uh, these people underwent, but being physically on the mountain slopes where it all happened, sort of does reinforce it in a very extraordinary way. Uh, I just had to get the bit of the Collegio in because I did need your admiration for the fact that I got up there. Um, uh, but, but then there, was, uh, uh, there were other heroes uh, that I hadn't known about before. Giannovello, is that what his name is? Giannovella, is that it? Yes. And went to his house um, uh, and, and, and saw it. And, heard the story of his resistance to the forces of persecution and so on. Of course, I did know about 1655, knew about that because of Milton, but this morning I've been part of a fellowship group, an ecumenical fellowship group in St. Giles Church, Cripplegate, with our ecumenical partners around there, and of course, overlooked by a statue of John Milton, because that's where he's buried, um, and uh, sort of um, smiling, uh, an exchange of smiles between me and Oliver Cromwell, because there his statue stands too. He was married in the church. 
Milton was buried in the church. So that's a direct association, really, isn't it, with, with, with the Waldensians? And of course, what I haven't realized until I went to the museum in Torre Pelice that was, was the way in which um, Cromwell did, um, uh, with other Protestant leaders across Europe, organize a, a real kind of um, upsurge of public opinion um, and political pressure um, on uh, the Dukes of Savoy and, uh, and, and the Popes and so on um, in, in order to make the whole world aware of the atrocity um, that uh, the slaughtered saints had undergone. Um, then there was the, um, uh, the, 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 the Chant Foran, the, the, uh, that, that lovely monument in the middle of a field. Um, but once again, awakening uh, or, or bringing together facts of my own sort of intellectual um, sort of uh, awareness uh, with other facts that together makes it more than the sum of the whole. Um, that's where they signed up for the Reformation, 1532, and, um, and Calvinism at that, and I'm not quite so fond of that, but that's a different matter, um, but, but, uh, but signing up with mainstream Protestantism. So the Tyndale and the Wycliffe and the John Hoos and, uh, and the John Valdes and all the rest of it um, sort of were all kind of happening across different parts of Europe. But here uh, was one body of people signing up with mainstream Protestantism. I mean, Luther had posted his theses in 1517 on the cathedral doors at Wittenberg, but this was for 1532, which wasn't much afterwards. And of course, Calvin was in Geneva doing his city-state stuff. Uh, and, and burning Servetus at the stake as well, but we won't go into that at this minute. Um, but, but here they were signing up for a treaty of solidarity with fellow believers um, in other places. And, and there's that extraordinary um, Olivetanus Bible. Well, I didn't know about that either. I tell you something, when I've studied the Bible through theological um, studies, um, I have uh, taken into consideration some of the texts that uh, Olivetanus used um, in uh, constructing his Bible and seen the contribution that made to the Geneva Bible, um, which was the most used English translation of the Bible um, for way after King James uh, in 1611. I mean, the Geneva Bible was the Protestant Bible for about 100 years, long after 1611, and it was the Bible of Shakespeare. And um, whenever you get allusions to the Bible in the works of Shakespeare, it's always the Geneva Bible. Now, I had the great good fortune some years ago, I did a public lecture up in Barnet, I think Hyde Barnet, um, and afterwards, and I was talking about biblical history of the Bible in English, and I mentioned the Geneva Bible, and there was a lady in the congregation who said, I've got one. I said, what do you mean you've got one? She said, I've got one. I think it was 1550-something, I mean, it was done, about 1560, I forget the exact date, but. For all that, she got one. I said, well, I'm delighted for you. I said, put it in the safe or insure it for a lot of money. She said, no, 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 I got one. I want you to have it. Well, I've got it now. So there you are, the Geneva Bible. But I had never realized the contribution to the production of that Bible by, um, by the person associated with this place, the Chanforin. You see how these lovely things come together and, and make a kind of ripple effect. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, well, that was, that was 1532. Then there was, of course, um, 1655 there was the, the there was the